In 2012, Jemmy Industries was developing a character called Hagatha the Tiki Staffed Witch. Sadly, it never made it to production. It's a design that's always really captivated me quite a bit, and I always wanted to know more about it, but sadly not much information was available on this piece. It had never been mass produced and only a few samples were ever made. One of those samples ended up being sent to Grandin Road, and then was sold at the Grandin Road outlet store to a home haunt in Trenton, Ohio, where it stayed until about 2018, when photos surfaced of it inside the haunt. My good friend Donovan took it upon himself to get photos and a video from the owner. The thing was not in good condition by any means. The resin was cracked into many pieces, and it was reattached with hot glue. At the time, a 24-volt adapter was also being used on it, but thankfully it caused no damage somehow. And after a long negotiation, Donovan ended up buying the prop, and it was in the hands of a collector. Some efforts had been made to improve her condition, but due to a lack of resources, light could be seen through the cracks of the face for some time. In 2020, I flew out to Georgia to meet some friends, and I got to see this piece for the first time, along with many others. During this meetup, my good friend CJ Webler did an amazing refurbishment of the head and it looks brand new. Scary, isn't it? <laughs> the intact black portion of the costume was mailed to his house so she could have an accurate costume created. Sometime after the trip and my continued passion for the piece, Donovan was incredibly nice to sell me Hagatha. So in the summer of 2021, I received the head, body, and parts of the staff. It sat in this state for some time until the summer of 2022 when I visited the US once again. I brought Hagatha's clothes and the completed staff home on a Greyhound bus all the way from CJ's place to mine, which is about 24 hours. Finally, this piece of rare Halloween industry history was restored to its former glory. As you can see, she's made an outstanding transformation. Unlike a lot of production retail items that are made out of a hard plastic, the Hagatha is actually cast in resin. A lot of Jemmy collectors will know that these prototypes are typically resin sometimes. It's super cool when they are though. The clip that removes the head is also resin on this surprisingly. And this one actually has human type ears sculpted on it, unlike the one in the stock photo which has pointed ears. CJ had to create the staff based off the one in the stock photo. It's actually a combination of a few cauldron witch sticks and one of these rattling heads that Donovan had. The staff actually has red LEDs in the eyes that light up so bright that it illuminates the face of Hagatha and most of the body as well, so it adds to the effect quite a bit. This prototype is actually built on top of a classic Jemmy Cauldron Witch. It has the same internal structure, except of course this one has an EEPROM circuit board with the Hagatha Rota Broom Audio. Um, it also has Cauldron Witch hands painted white. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this transformation. This story spans over about five years. I'd like to make a huge thanks to Donovan for selling the piece and CJ for restoring it. Uh, they both put a lot into this piece and I couldn't have gotten here without them. So I will put their channel links in the description. I look forward to reading your comments. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.